it's Wendy. How are you guys? Thank you so much for watching. I'm so excited to see you again. And as you can see, I'm so pink right now. I have a pink eye. Oh my god. And I'm using a lot of exciting products that I'm so excited to show you guys. So before that, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video. So let's go to the video. So I'm gonna prep and moisture my skin first before the makeup. I use this Laneige again and it's literally like empty. I just loved it so I'm really gonna use it until it's dropped. Okay, let's see. Oh, still going strong. Thank God. Okay, I think that's it. Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna put it all over my face. It's literally like one of my favorite serum. And it's so good on my dry skin. I feel like it really helped, especially if I have like a very, very dry skin. So I already prepped my skin and moisture my skin. And I'm gonna do my eye makeup first. So in this video, for this makeup, I don't really need like a primer so i'm gonna do my brow first lately i've been loving this one product that i'm so excited to show you which is this anastasia beverly heels the brow freeze it's so damn good like i'm telling you it's worth the price it holds my eyebrow for the whole day even though i'm like hang out just like i'm sweating it still holds my brows the whole time you just have to take a little amount of the product and Everything's good. So I'm just gonna use my spoolie and just like take a little, like just very little. Can you see that? You just need to like brush it to whatever you want your eyebrows to look like. I love this product because it gives you like a shiny finish, which I love when my brow looks shiny. Like my daily makeup, I use a brow powder, which I'm gonna use a brow powder for this video too. When you use like a brow powder, it gives you like a matte and ashy looking finish. Well, it's still good, but like this, this shiny looking, it just gives you like a fresh, happy looking. So I love it. And yeah, I brush it upwards because I love it when my eyebrow looking steady upwards it just give me like a awake looking and i'm ready to go <laughs> so i'm finished with my brow gel now i'm gonna do my brow powder i use this product this is from morphe this is their eyebrow palette please don't surprise when i show you the inside it's so messy because i'm using it all the time it's been like a year with me so i'm gonna use this color the light one here I'm gonna use the same brush as well. So when I use my eyebrow powder, I just really need to tap tap and then fix it with concealer because it's so easy to fix with concealer and yeah, so don't mind if it's really gonna be messy. This is what I always do. And I love this one color. Now I'm gonna fix it with concealer. I've been using this for like, just a few times, but I'm loving it already because they're such a good brand. I love their brand. They're still new, I think. It's from local brand. I'm just gonna show you now. This is from Rose All Day. This is their new concealer. It's called the Realist Lightweight Concealer. And it's so freakingly good. I love it. And it's such a pretty looking packaging and such a good price too i love it I already put it on the back of my hand so i'm using this uh brush this is like a pointy brush this kind of brush is not the one that you use for blending eyeshadow so this is for like a liquid makeup i'm just gonna like conceal the area that i want to fix to shape my eyebrow
I feel like these people always like buy a new makeup when when they saw it online like you saw this one brand is just launching a new product and you just buy it immediately but you have like a bunch already at your home and I don't know I think it's not like a really good thing to do also that's a purpose for having like a one good makeup like you spend for example this one is like 500k maybe I forgot 500k rupiah for this Mac studio and it okay it just fell and it can like last four years I don't know maybe it lasts I can't tell but I just bought it like a month ago and this is so so thick guys this is so thick like this is so thick and it can and it's unbreakable <laughs> I'm telling you Mac makeup is unbreakable I love their lipstick not only because they have a good color but they is but they are unbreakable I used to park my car in my school back then when I was still in high school and it was under the sun like like around 12 p.m. and my car could like inside the car it will be like so hot frequently hot that it could melt anything liquid inside no I mean like my lipstick is not liquid I mean it can it can melt it's not melting so now I'm done with the brow powder I'm gonna like give a little touch with this brow mascara by heavy rotation I'm gonna put the link for the product in my description so you don't need to worry and actually for all this product that you that you're wondering what I'm using, what shades, and where I buy it. Mostly I buy it on Shopee, and definitely I will help you to find a good seller and the trusted one. And I'm gonna put the link on the description. So my eyebrow is done. Now I'm gonna do my eyeshadow. Now I'm gonna primer my eyelid. I'm using the same concealer as before, which is the Rose all day. <laughs> super cute name now you have to watch that this is blend so good guys can you imagine like now you will see that this is like so bright on my skin it is so like far from my skin tone and when I blend it with brush it's just melting on my skin Oh my god for the eyeshadow this is a very special one that I really want to show you and I don't know I just love it this one is from Eska this is their new collection with Barbie oh my god can you like this is such a good Valentine's gift for you guys, is there any like a boyfriend that watching my video right now? I think there is. Okay, this is for all the guys. If you wondering what you should give to your girlfriend for Valentine's Day, this is such a good idea. You can ask them with this like, would you be my Valentine's or whatever, like in a creative ways. I'm not so creative right now. Now let's look at the inside. Oh my god, it's so pretty, isn't it? So they have like one, two, three, four, five, six simmers and six matte and I mean like basic color. Yeah, matte eyeshadow, which is one, two, three, four. Yeah. It's 12 eyeshadow inside and it's so pretty and they give you like a little quote. It says strong girls make weight. Yes. Let's right into it. I'm gonna spray my brush first with setting spray. Always from Studio Tropic because I love them. I'm gonna use this pink one here that it has a Barbie logo. <laughs> Is it a logo? 
put it on my eyelid so I think this pink color here is not the pink color like you expect to be like to be pink as the packaging well I wish <laughs> okay now we can see it's popping For the shimmer, I'm using this fluffy brush and now I'm adding this white shimmer to pop the pink eyeshadow and then I'm just gonna blend it all over my eyelid and look at that, it's so pretty Now I'm doing the left eye, I'm gonna do the same thing as before, I'm just gonna blend it all over my eyelid for the next step, I'm gonna do eyeliner and using the Morphe Brow Palette For the eyeliner, I'm mixing these two brown colors And I'm just gonna blend the eyeliner upward so it blends well with the eyeshadow I do a lot of correction on it Just like a brown eyeshadow and just gonna like give it a line here and really just brush it upwards so it gives like a blending finish like that and just correct it with concealer now I'm gonna add a falchies I'm using this Ardell this is the Naked Lashes I've been using this few times and it's good so it looks like this it's kind of like dramatic I'm gonna use tweezer for the eyelashes it's easier for me instead of using finger or the fake eyelashes tweezer you know the long one this one kind of like more helpful to put it where I want oh shoot okay this is good so with tweezer it helps to like push it to the skin to make it like fully strong glued to the skin and easier to help you to place the eyelash where you want I'm gonna fill in this eyelash with eyeliner like there's like a gap between my eyelashes and the fake eyelashes so it's just gonna like look seamlessly and look just connected to each other so all the eye makeup is done it's a lot of struggles so I'm gonna use this rose all day the newest cushion they have it's called the realist lightweight essence cushion it's so freaking cute I'm using in the shade sand so let's try it it looks like it's gonna match to my skin tone but we never know before we try it Ooh, I love it and look it looks like matchy with my nails <laughs> I'm gonna try with my cute pink blush from Real Technique it's so cute, so extra it's like sparkling it's gonna be my all time favorite brush and I'm loving it Something I like about cushion, I think it's the style. Yeah. They always have a rebel, but no for foundation. I don't know why. It's that hard to reveal foundation. Just kind of like blending it upwards. Ooh, I love it. I'm gonna use a concealer. With the same brand from Rose all day, but just a little. Oops. 
sih Garam telur Okay, now I can go upwards So before powder, I'm gonna use this Anastasia Beverly Hills This is a cream bronzer I'm using in shade Amber It's such a cute packaging I'm just gonna like tap this It's gonna like it's actually like so soft like a soft brown it's not really like that strong brown bronzer I'm not that kind of girl that I like a very strong bronzer I like it like soft I find need more I just need to put more layer on it So when you bronze your face, the point is this area, the very top of your uh, ear. So you just need like to blend it upwards towards your ear. I'm gonna bronze my jawline. Now I'm gonna blend everything on my face for the bronzer with this brush. This is a clean brush. It's from It Cosmetics, and yeah, I'm gonna blend it so it looks seamless. I think for the base, it's all done. As you can see, it's like a little lighter than my real skin tone. I'm gonna. Use, I'm gonna use my favorite powder from MAC This is in shade MC43 It's a little brown This is also from Real Technic as well it, it comes from a set I'm gonna put it on the description for the link As you can see it's Starting to look like my real skin. <laughs> I love when I already made it to powder because it, it feels like I'm ready to go. <laughs> I'm not a type of uh, loose powder kind of girl because it makes my skin so matte sometimes because my skin is already very dry so I just did a little powder to just lock the makeup and I'm ready now I'm gonna like add a little more to the around my under eye because it's not really like focusing earlier. I'm making all good. I'm using Charles Tilbury, the airbrush bronzer in shade medium number two. It's gonna like put it upwards. I'm gonna use this brush, it's from the same brush earlier, it came from the same set, so I'm just gonna like tap it. Ooh, it's so pretty, isn't it? And can you see that? It's like blending with my bronzer and the 
foundation and the powder and everything in it. Ooh. So cute. Oh my god. Can you see that it melts on my skin? <laughs> it's like melting on my skin. And you know what about the product? This shade is called pink. I'm gonna name the shade pink. And people were like, oh my god, this is like one of the best products in the world. Pink. Sometime less is more. So next step is highlighter. This is from Natasha Denona. I think this is like a mini packaging. Yeah, it's called Natasha Denona Mini Diamond and Glow. I'll show you inside. It has a two color. There's like a white and pink color and I'm gonna use the white one only. So I'm gonna use this blush. It's like a step stippling. It's a stippling brush if you can see. I'm just gonna like use it a very little amount because it's already like because this is like a big sparkly highlighter so I just gotta like because in this video I don't want to really be extra with the highlight because my I don't want to take the shine from my eye at this time is time for my eye to shine you know okay I think that's enough and now I'm gonna put a little on here I think that's enough it's not really like much last but not least is lipstick using MAC cosmetic always this is the shade Velvet Teddy also my favorite color it's almost out because <laughs> I'm using it a lot I'm gonna mix it with a lip maximizer I think I'm so goofy this video I'm using my Dior lip maximizer put it all over my lip ah, it's so pretty so pretty isn't it I'm gonna add more so I think I can Oh my god, I'm so extra in this video. It's fun. Last step, always setting spray by Studio Tropic. Let's do it. <laughs> this is such a good moment to add it with such a good product. I'm loving it. I'm, I'm loving it. I love Studio Tropic. So I think this is the final look guys. What do you think? I had so much fun doing this makeup video. I always like to do experience with makeup because it's even though sometimes it's struggling like earlier I did my eyelashes. It's such a struggle but I'm enjoying it. It's worth it. It's worth the effort and the time. So I hope you like it and I hope this helpful for you and I'm wishing you a lovely Valentine's Day and happy Valentine to all of you that are watching this video and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and like this video also turn on your notifications so you will get notified every time I post a video because I will post every week since now I'm committed to myself that I'm gonna consistent on my channel. I'll see you on my next video. I love you guys. Bye!